January 11th, 2018. Thank you for joining me at Evolutionary Energy Arts once again. <clears throat> we have some scary archaeology going on. Pits of nothing but large to very large severe severed hands found in Egypt. And this is a 3,600 year old palace <clears throat> in the once great city of Avaris, Egypt. A team of archaeologists unearthed four pits. What's in the pits? It's hands. No bodies, just a bunch of dismembered hands. Most of the hands are quite large, and some of them are very, very large, signifying that they were all taken from adult males, and possibly the ancient Egypt was full of giants. Where have we heard that before? These four ancient hand recycling pins were found in the palace of King Kayan of the Hiskos, a western a West Asian people who once ruled over part of northern Egypt. And they found it in the outer portion of the palace and two just inside the throne room, indicating some sort of ceremonial importance. So these very, very large hands are physical evidence. Archaeologists have found a practice that's widely represented, represented in ancient Egyptian art. And these are hands of giants. Soldiers would lop off the right hands of their enemies and present them to their leaders who would ceremoniously toss the hands into a pit and then unceremoniously toss each soldier a wealth of gold in exchange. By taking the right hand, you are symbolically stealing the source of your enemy's power and literally stealing 50% of his ability to flip you off. And we see this in a lot of the hieroglyphics and a lot of the carvings and here you could actually see it piling the hands in and so this image was created about 400 years after the avaris hands were deposited it shows the chopped off hands of the enemy soldiers being prepared for ramses the third a pharaoh of egypt after a successful campaign so were the soldiers large to very large men some sorts of giants and again that goes back into the bible and all the things that we heard from the bible and then not just the bible uh, but also the sumerian tablets and everywhere as I've shared with you guys before, I've been like doing an, a, a real large amount of research in an area that for most of my years I, w I did not research thoroughly, and that's the, the Hindu and the Vedic traditions. Um, I've been researching this stuff since I was 12 years old, so that was 40 years ago. I started uh, going down this line and just devouring everything I could get my hands on and trying to figure out what is going on all these mysterious things and the more I go into the Vedic tradition and look at the read into the Puranas and all the different texts um, it's all so consistent and actually there's even more there than appears to be even in the Sumerian books you know there's there's so much depth and detail and you could imagine the earth at one point probably represented exactly what Star Wars shows in a sense with multiple different alien species being here and co-inhabitating all sorts of different size intelligent beings walking the earth at the same time and a lot of conflict amongst them as is evident in all the wars going on constantly throughout the uh, Hindu holy scriptures have you heard of Vimanas? Uh, just to give you a for instance, those are flying vehicles of the gods. And there, there's so many more via, uh, uh, videos that need to be made on all this, and there are some out there. Um, but when you start to put this all together, it's, it's so clear. There are different types of beings. There are s definitely some three-dimensional extraterrestrial beings aliens that have been here and probably are still here I'm sure and then there's also interdimensional beings that not only live here on the third density but can also go up into higher vibrations at will 
And so there are definitely interdimensional beings as well as physical beings. And at one time, the Earth was openly loaded with all sorts of cohabitating different species. That is a definite thing in my book. And here we are finding physical remnants of that. As we do know from the biblical stories, you know, in Second Samuel 4.12 here, talking about the same thing. Chopping off the hands, and we know about Goliath, and we know about the Rephaim, and the Nephilim, and we know about the Gigi, and all these different types of what we would call demigods, and uh, devas, and asuras, and it's a much more interesting history than what they actually teach us in school. That is for sure. And so here in Avaris, Egypt, we have some physical remnants. And I will be doing some videos on the giants. Once you start on, on the giants, you could go on forever because they have uncovered thousands and thousands of giant bodies. Thousands. There, there, you know, throughout recorded history, there are so many that have been found. And I will go into that in greater detail later. But just thought I'd bring you up to date on this story. If you guys found it interesting, please do thumbs up and subscribe and share if you haven't yet. Thank you so much for supporting us here at Evolutionary Energy Arts. We truly appreciate you helping us keep the channel going and growing and getting the word out. Take care, everyone, and thank you for joining me once again.